hello friends welcome to our channel and today i am going to show you how, how to draw a compact tray so in the previous lecture we had already seen how to draw a non compact tray so you can see it in our previous lecture if you have not seen it is available in the playlist so a compact tray takes much less space than the non compact tray to store the dictionary okay so let us see the example so we had already taken the example using five words and how to draw a non compact tray so this is a non compact tray non compact tray so i am going to take it as an example and show you how to convert it to a compact tray or you can directly write the non compact tray so the first step is similar suppose we take big so the first one is b so we start with the root okay and then take b the, then we draw again a node to take i okay now you have to take i this is i after i you have g in big so you take it and you make it as g okay now after g there is nothing so you need to add a dollar dollar symbol and this has finished okay see here this is finished here now after that when you do bigger so b is already present i is already present g is already present so big has already been covered then after that you had covered g e r so in this figure let us see g e r and then dollar so you can see that here only a single path is followed and there is no branching so whenever there is only a single path with no branching then we take the first character and put it in the branch edge so from g we have branching from this node from this node we have branching so we branch it here and put as g because g is the first one of this path okay and we have no branching in this path so we just include here and we write here bigger dollar so this is a this is the main feature of the compact tray so what is the difference see here in the non compact tray the node which i have colored red is the point of branching for bigger okay so big was uh, this was the last node for big and after that we had stored the big big after this in the bigger b i g g e r you have branching at g the first g now after branching you have you have no other branching but a single straight path so for a single straight path we take the first first character of the single straight path and write it in here as an edge name and then we take the last we, we take this last word we take this last bigger and then write in here okay so the entire this entire part is skipped this entire part is skipped okay so this is the way in which memory is saved so when we are not using excessive edges and excessive nodes then memory will be saved and fasting will be a little faster because we don't need to traverse we don't need to compare these edges to find this word we just need to find this and then we will conclude that bigger has been found okay now suppose we take bill so b has already been covered then i i is already covered then l so you have g so you need to branch for l so you will do a branching okay now you can see here that a branching has been done okay so the first one is included as l and after that there is no no other branching there is only a single path so for single path you you include the first first edge name that is l and then the last string name so the last string name is bill so you will write bill dollar okay now bill has been included in the string so after this after this when you of uh, now you will be doing it for the good this good so you will start with g so from the root node see that g is not present so you will you will have to do a branching for g okay now you can see here that after g you have o but we are not doing it in a straight path that means we are we will have to include o because after o there is branching so so the edges 
ages before the branching will have to be included and they cannot be shrinked in the non compact tri so this will be included and then there is o so this one also will be included now you have to draw good so go has been covered after that the second o you can see here that the second o comes here and after that there is a single straight path to good so you so what you can do is you can include this first one that is o and the last one so you will do like this include the first one and then write the last one good dollar now this word has been included now similarly for gosh you have g you have o then you have s for s you have branching in here and while branching you can see that there is a single straight path single straight path to gosh okay so you so what you can do is you can draw an edge and write in here the first edge weight that is s and then include the last string that is gosh so you can do in here like this include s and then write gosh dollar okay this is dollar gosh dollar and then for the empty string as usual you have to include a dollar for an empty string okay so this is the compact version this is a compact try and this is and this one was the non compact try so you can see that without practice you will not be able to directly make a compact try so you will have to make a non compact try and then you can just see and convert it into a compact try but with practice when you do practice you can directly draw a compact try because you will be able to see see what what will there be any branching or not so in here you can see oh uh, yes the branching points before the branching points all the edges are same that means suppose you take this point this point you can see that b and i are also included in here so in the compact try the all the points all the edges before the branching points will all be included and after the branching point you will have just one edge which is a straight path so this is it for the compact try i hope you have understood what is a compact try and how you can convert a non compact try into a compact try so in the next lecture i will talk about patricia which is a which is a even more compact version of a compact try and stick with our lecture and if you like it then give us a thumbs up and subscribe thank you